Welcome back to our Autodesk Inventor series. Today, we're exploring the innovative features in Inventor 2024.2. Autodesk has refined this latest version in response to your feedback, enhancing its efficiency, reliability, and user-friendliness. We've made Inventor more intuitive, streamlining your workflows and saving you time. In this video, we'll demonstrate how these updates from enhanced functions to new features can optimize your experience and productivity with Inventor 2024.2 updates. Stay tuned for detailed insights into each feature. Let's dive in. This update enables users to seamlessly copy the text box value of driven parameters. By simply using Control C, you can copy the selected text, enhancing the ease of use in the sketching workspace. Then place that value in another location or dimension. Now you can toggle between line types using shortcut keys during projection. Simply use the left mouse button for a normal projection and shift plus the left mouse button to project as construction geometry. The project cursor interactively indicates construction or normal mode. This update supports 2D and 3D sketches in parts, assemblies, and drawings. For assemblies and components alike, the measure tool now supplies mass, making it possible for you to obtain measurements when a part is selected. This added function will allow you to deduct from the accumulated value, similar to the add button function. The subtract feature applies to all values that can be accumulated, such as volume, area, distance, and angle. It even accounts for negative totals accurately. Inventor 2024.2 now provides delta x, y, and z for the minimum and maximum distance when measuring parallel objects. It ensures accurate, efficient measurements in parts, assemblies, and even in the 2D drawing environment. We found a limitation in measuring between sketch points and non-planar faces. Not anymore in this release. We also made it so the selection order is not a concern. You can continue to measure with ease. Streamlining parameter management in Inventor 2024.2, you'll now find a handy search box in the FX Parameters dialog box. Given the extensive lists of parameters of some complex parts and assemblies, this feature is invaluable. By simply typing the name, you can now filter and view parameters satisfying your criteria. This not only enhances user experience, but also improves productivity. In the Customize User Commands window, a search function has been added to the keyboard command tab, enabling you to quickly find the commands you are seeking. Similar to the search box in the Marking menu tab, this new feature allows for more efficient customization. DWG and DXF are commonly used to export sheet metal flat patterns. In this release, we added the ability to export them to step format. Right-click on the flat pattern to save and change the file type. Additional options will automatically display upon export. You now have the option to keep sketches visible when the Create New button is used for sweeps and coils. This applies to solid sweeps and even 3D sketches. This feature gives you a more intuitive workspace for working with complex geometry. Sketch blocks are commonly used to develop a concept for an assembly. As your list of blocks grows, you may need help identifying them. When you hover over a sketch block in the browser, the description appears in tooltip content, providing quick reference information. A new option is now available to turn on or off extended thread depth analysis. This means that interference errors arising from problematic designs, such as threads not extending from the whole start to the whole end, won't show up. Inventor now offers the option to save and replace all component instances in one go. This means you can opt to simultaneously replace all identical components, saving valuable time. Just look below the Save and Replace command for this new option. It works similar to the Replace All function, but with a cleaner user interface. This new update introduces Suppress Link and Break Link checkboxes to various dialogs. Like Derived Assembly, Derived Part, and Make Part allowing users to maintain more organized workflows. When utilizing this option, Suppress Link is intentionally disabled if Break Link is selected. Notably, these options are remembered across sessions ensuring seamless continuity. Double-clicking an already selected browser node now directly leads you to edit the associated feature or component, avoiding unintended renaming of the node. The single-click timer waits for a potential second click before initiating the rename mode. 
Enhance your drawing navigation with highlighting functionality for parts list rows. When selecting a row in the parts list, the corresponding components light up in both graphics and browser, streamlining identification and interaction with your design elements. Whether hovering over a text in a placed parts list or selecting rows directly, all link components within the sheet respond interactively. Multi-row selections are also supported, adding to your interaction flexibility. This update allows Inventor to remember the last used values of gap distance, symbols, style, display slider, and the propagate checkbox. When editing, the system utilizes the used value, preserving the integrity of the last used options and values even across sessions. When setting up your sheet, choosing a primary property source now allows you to identify which views are which. Simply hover over a view name in the dropdown for text property source and look for the corresponding highlighted browser entry and view the border in the drawing area. In case you forgot to constrain a detail view, alterations in the drawing may dislocate the view, resulting in loss of dimensions and annotations. After creating a detail view, users can now activate attached fence, making the process more intuitive. This option retains its value across sessions, allowing users to have a more consistent command behavior. In scenarios where a view label vanishes or it cannot be located to, users now have the option to easily realign the label to its default position. Right-clicking on the respective view, there is now an option to realign the view label, centering it underneath the view. Under Application Options, developers can now enter code to toggle the setting for use the nearest model point for orbit, allowing for a more intuitive interaction in the 3D space. We're introducing an iLogic status icon in the ribbon to inform users when an iLogic rule is actively running, offering a visual cue to increase understanding and interaction with iLogic functions. With this enhancement, we've added the capability to directly override eye properties of an IndyCAD reference from the Bill of Material. After editing the eye property, we can see the changes have been synced with the metadata of the part document, which may also be used for title block information or searchable information in Autodesk Vault. And that brings us to an end of our tour through Inventor 2024.2. We hope that you found these updates as exciting as we do. And remember that we're constantly working on refining and improving Inventor based on your feedback. So don't hesitate to share your thoughts, insights, or any questions that you have through the Inventor feedback community. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future releases and improvements. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time.